when the song comes on, everybody gon' rush the floor. We do it big like Matt Life. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to another Battlefront 2 Mom of Gameplay and today we go on El Fabricio's or The Legend Story of Destinia which he released back in late 2016 I believe. So this is really about a year and a half old maybe at the most and you get this guy named, was it Seiko? Psycho? <laughs> I think it's Seiko and he has a wooden stick and talk and investigate. You woke up in our surprise, you had a bad nightmare and are happy that it's over now. now. What did happen? It was just a dream. Oh damn I am way too late for my tasks. I hope my boss is not going to be angry. I really need to deliver these barrels, but first I will not ta I, I will talk to Royer. He's probably chilling at the docks, usual. Okay, go explore the village, go to the beach to find Royer, and get into a dinghy and drive to Starfish Island. You got it. Okay, assistant, just jump into that hole if you want to load up any chapters. But be careful, the ones who build that portal are able to detect cheaters and thieves, be honest. Alright, so I know this is more so your walkthrough here. All you really have to do is over here you just gotta run all the way over here and if you want to you can read the sign by right clicking and it tells you left and right left beach docks right village so we're going over here to our friend Royer who's over at the do who's over at waiting for us I do like those sound animations of the sea or ocean, whichever you would like to call it. Now you can die a bunch of times too, it doesn't matter, you don't have a point reinforcement count. I'll tell you this much, chapter 2 is going to be a pain in my butt, I'll tell you, I can tell you that, just as a fact. Alright, here's Royer. Uh, I would really like to come with you, but I'll be very busy. Okay, story beginning, get in here, yeah, press the E button or enter, and we'll take our nice sweet ass time going across here. Doesn't matter what I do, it's still gonna take a long time to get to the other side. Yeah, you probably could cheat and just fly over, but I'd rather do it the honest way. Because these two, these there's two chapters, and I'm doing each chapter separately, so I gotta make the video last a little longer. I know it's pretty boring just watching me sail across the the Red Sea over here, but uh, it's all I can do. I do like how it's called Starfish Island. It's a very interesting name. And then once you go over here, you just gotta go deliver your barrels, and then your most I think your person says there's an attack on the village, and you gotta sail back in that other dinghy over there. And let's just say that takes another good minute or two to get to. Yeah, I probably could just run there under the water, but I'll just end up drowning, and I'd rather not do that. And to best if I don't just cut it out either, just to show you that I'm not actually cheating. Yeah, I could, but I'd, I'd rather not. And uh, usually it doesn't do this, I think it might be the recording doing this. It keeps shaking for some odd reason. Unless, unless there's an actual, like, earthquake going on, which I highly doubt. Alright, let's go. Alright, here we go. There are my barrels. Uh, you hear explosions, they're coming from the village, you need to find out what's going on. Huh. What was that? I must go up on the hill and look for myself. Return to the village. Okay. I'll use that second dinghy on the right. I like how, how they're shaking for some odd reason on my screen. Alright, back to the dinghy we go, gentlemen and ladies. And now... Oh, okay. I didn't know this was before. Honestly, they look like black hot dogs or black pieces of poop. I know that's very immature, but that's literally what they look like to me. Well, minusing, of course, the sides and what's under it. Alright, let's go. 
we we are slowly making our way over and over there in between the the palm trees you'll you can actually climb up in between those palm trees when you're trying to climb back up to get to the village it's allowed I've done it before so there's one thing though in chapter two I really I really can't get past and that's uh trying to what you call it destroy ten barrels in three minutes I just can't do it because I don't I'm not very good with my jumping flexibilities on here Then again, it wasn't meant to be difficult, so no fun. All right, we're we're almost there. Hey, maybe the maybe the ground's shaking because they're dropping bombs on the village. Never know. All right, we're we're more or less here. Okay, let's get out, and we'll just uh, run back into the village. Watch, watch them skills of running up the hill. Alright, so here we go, back to the village. And now, the village is destroyed. I wonder who did that. There's nothing here anymore. And it looks like everyone's dead. From, just from looking. Respect the dead, respect the dead, respect the dead, respect the dead, respect the dead. Alright. Oh, okay, you're still alive? Huh, okay, leader. Uh, Seiko, you, you're alive. What happened? They they came to us. Who are they? What what happened? And who is... And where is Roy, Royer? Okay. The Grand Army Darkness attacked us. They really did it. Uh, it was unexpected. I just got up, looked out, and saw them killing the others. And they didn't show any mercy. They even killed the children. It was terrible. I don't know... What, what they've done to your best friend, I just hope they didn't kill him. Not a long time ago, the governments of the Northwestern Kingdoms united to build up build up a dark empire. They began to capture the Eastern Territories. They have no chance against them. The only strong military force was still the City of Light. Okay, I heard about that. Well, but uh, why why they, shall they attack harmless villages? They are cursed, all of them. The army, kings, and queens. They have no self-control anymore. Many, many people tried to save them, but without success. I just can't believe what happened. You must move, leave this place, leave your past, go and find Master Yazun. Yazun, uh, he owns a temple not far away from here. But there, there is a magic shield around this temple, and only true heroes are allowed to enter. Even the dark people have no chance to enter this place. Maybe you have. He will train you, tell him I, I have sent you to him. Uh, I forgot to read what Seiko said. Probably like, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll go do that. Uh, leave, find Master Yazun, he will... He will help you either than I, well, I guess he meant more than I could, leave and hide, I'm not sure if you're on the way to return, I'm not sure if you, if they're, they are on the way to return, okay. And what about you? My days are counted, there is nothing for me anymore to do, now you are on your own. Okay, I will not disappoint you, I promise you. And it looks like that's the first chapter, alright. So, uh, looks like that'll be the first part of this gameplay, thank you all for watching, and goodbye.